Dr. Corey Richardson, and today we're going to be going over your upcoming Bravo procedure. The Bravo procedure is performed to test the levels of acid in your esophagus over a typical day. You're having this procedure performed because you're likely experiencing some of the effects of reflux, such as heartburn, regurgitation, or difficulty swallowing. We ask that you go about your day as you normally would so that we can get accurate measurements of the pH levels of your esophagus. In order to obtain accurate pH levels in your esophagus, it is important that you stop your reflux medication prior to the test as follows. You will be able to resume with your medication after the test is complete. You will be wearing this monitor for 48 hours. However, the doctor may order a shorter or longer study. A capsule will be suctioned to the side of your esophagus during your endoscopy procedure that takes approximately 15 minutes. Once the capsule is placed in your esophagus, it will send information to the recorder during the study, so it is important to keep it within 3 feet or less of you at all times. Here are three examples of how you can wear the recorder. Over the shoulder around the neck, using the belt clip. Do not get recorder wet. To turn the recorder on, press any button once to activate the screen. A blue light will flash every 12 seconds when the box is recording. A red light flashes or alarm sounds if the recorder goes out of reach. To stop this, bring the recorder closer to your chest. When you are experiencing your typical symptoms, press the specific symptoms button. Only press it one time and do not press it again until you experience the symptom again. Your nurse will discuss this with you. The first button on the left is for meals. Press this button when you start a meal. The button should blink throughout the entire duration of your meal. Press the same button again when the meal is done and the receiver will stop blinking. Avoid chewing gum and using throat lozenges as this may alter your pH levels. This button should be pressed when you sleep, lie down or recline and pressed again when you rise. you will be sent home with a diary sheet. This is meant for any other symptoms or situations that need further explanation. For example, if you forget to press a button, you can write this information in the diary. Please make sure to write your name and turn it in with the recorder. Once the test is complete, the recorder will shut off automatically or the screen may ask you to connect to a PC. Do not connect to your computer. You can now resume your regular reflux medications. Please turn in the recorder along with the diary sheet to the front desk so we can finalize your results. Monday through Friday, use the front door. On the weekends, use the inpatient entrance. So will be within your esophagus for five to seven days, but could take longer to fall off. We do ask that you do not have an MRI for 30 days. If you have prolonged symptoms or your symptom changes or worsens, do not continuously press the symptom button. You can note this in your diary. You may experience some chest discomfort, which is common. This will subside after the capsule has been removed from your esophagus. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. We look forward to taking care of you.